Hello humans and welcome back to Space Cat with a new episode of Night in the Woods. We're Here in with Cozy. The snack Falcon. Yeah, Snack Falcon, motherfucking Snack Falcon, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, the Fiasco Cola. The fiasco, Lime. Slushy. Snakeums. <laughs> Sup, dude? Ugh. Huh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We gotta head out to band practice. Yeah, let's do this. You're pretty good at this, actually. No, I'm not. Yes, this is you gonna are. Be terrible. You know it is. Na, 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 na. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door. Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out to the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, he'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Hell yeah! Let's do this shit! Pumpkin guy. Head guy. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, 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 we're getting there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's lurking. Wow. He's coming up the street. His shadow's scratching into my heart. It's... It's the pumpkin it's behind the mask. Life comes and goes too fast from too even Jack. He's a pumpkin guy. My is lurking in the woods when he will say, Wake, I wish I could. I'm running to my door and I can't find the right key. The moon is. The uh, stars buzz out like a uh, whisper in the dark. Oh god, he's right. He's coming up the streets. He's shadow streets into my heart. He's a pumpkin guy. Uh, something. What's life come goes way too fast for me to even uh, he's the window. I see him. You cannot. He sees eyes with still evil eye burn the city uh, down. Question mark. Ah, <laughs> you're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> you are fucking this up royally. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? Pump! Skiing! Hit! Go! Pumpkin head guy! Cha! Fucking hell! Yeah. That, that was, was awesome! That was terrible! <laughs> like, what wow, the Wow, mate, that was, uh... Pretty bad, it is what it was. I literally do not know this song. She says that about every single song they play. Whew! So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strain my vocal cords yelling. <laughs> I can't not imagine him singing that. Awesome! I'm gonna sound so husky. <laughs> I guess Greg would love that. And anyway, I don't even know if their dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No! I'm kind of freaked out! Probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. 
Aw, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghost stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust? Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? <laughs> what? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. There's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts. We'll find it there, probably. Hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Uh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... <laughs> Confused. Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay. We'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties! <laughs> That's the spirit! The Librari. Blah, 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 That's not a library. That's a, that's a thing. Look, jobs. We're like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like, one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin head. God damn! Kabow! We at least got the entry in the book. Uh, oh, this Wait, is the library. what? This is the library. Oh, this is the library. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where what where the <laughs> macro fish is? Microfish. <laughs> Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. What's she saying? Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone? I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Up, up, up. That's definitely elevating. Uh, it is. Uh, I don't think Computer there's doors. been a, um, a library I've been into with an elevator. The one in town has one. Really? Yep. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Yeah, he's not going to get a see. job. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. <laughs> it should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You're going to join my young socialist checkbox group? Uh-huh. I love her sarcasm. Uh -huh. What's this? Holy crap! What? It's... What? Charity... Charity... Charity Parity? Charity Parity. What's Charity Parity? How do you not know Charity Parity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old? Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hate it, Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by something. Yeah. A were... cult. And then they were, like, brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Okay, yeah, go on. <laughs> instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? 
No, I was bored to death. It was like talk. It was taking or talking forever about like being kind to others and like I don't know helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plunko fix his hovercraft. Uh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Nightmarity. <laughs> Charity Barity, I just don't carity. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger where wherever wherever tea. Okay. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Interesting. Interesting. Nothing Maybe is here. There is some Keep going up somewhere else. Well, I'm assuming this is the second floor. And we need to go up again anyway. Oh yeah, but that's true. We didn't go to the third floor. I don't know. Mm, yes. I, don't know. I know. I know. I know. Going up. Going down. Up. Up we go. Up -o, up -o. That's that's how things go. They go up. Oh, it's dark in here. It's I guess. Dark. It's. Oh. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost. Or something. Wherever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Alright, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through and that's not good. That all sounded a lot, lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. It must be awesome if you have mm -hmm. friends like that who would just go for whatever you say, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you know. If you're going through a crisis like it's that and, and just, like, help you out. Alright, there she is. She? It's a computer. Cool. Mm -hmm. So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. Sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? <laughs> this whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Aww. Ugh. Are we friends, Beatrice? Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if you dumbass is in charge. <laughs> Tragedy at right. Stafford so, Mine. What are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How, how do we do this? Uh. Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Mm, tragedy at Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. in the Stafford Mine. All works were ceased while the men attempted to rescue any survivors. Thus, so far, three men have been pulled out alive along with de 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator rope snapped and the next group of men plumped to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel carved in due to the explosion and survivors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. Here is the next one. Uh, As bear trees. The last trolley will make its run September 4th. Bernie Goss, the longest employee with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street Tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where light refreshments will be served and a speech will be given by the Congressman Archibald Reed. Yeah. Twin Club will be meeting at Stags on Wednesday whatever. night at 6pm. This month's craft will be whatever, whatever. hats for the soldiers along with a potluck. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Blah, blah, blah. 
strength to true it. No, I'm not going to read that. I'll leave that up for you. Uh, <laughs> bad bosses figure heavily into blah, 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 more retail of crime and secret society is no exception. 1970, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with many slur and punched the miners leader, Donald Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Donnie's tooth meant to him, and they descended on the boss. Fueled the boss down while others removed all of his teeth with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miners, and secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Interesting. Teeth and so oh, that's why that's what the tooth was about in the tooth. Yeah, that we picked up from the um, safe that was in the room. Oh, this he might be connected. Yeah, that's dice. true. I completely forgot about that. Um, Membership was based on owning one of these teeth, yeah. and each was marked with a symbol well, of their choosing. These things were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. Boss survived his attack, but never named his attackers for fear of impl implicating himself. Uh, when he died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed hell? before going out for Retribution. What? Retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth in into the, the sockets, sockets, and later retrieve the tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's t death, the tooth will be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail will be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. With the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange but true. 1895. Yeah. That is a long time ago. Uh, Severe violence strike. broke out at the staff and mine strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd after a few minutes of smoke. It's not clear of the clear. Voice the Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. Young brother and her sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who was on strike below when the shooting broke the out. of you with children aged seven and nine who were shot in cold blood was... Has circulated it far outside of our little county. Heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. Uh, 45 days since the start of the strike, the bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and to honor demands of the miners. <sighs> okay, the old pickaxe, new store. Um, Wait, hang on. Read the last again. bit of the pickaxe, uh, pickaxe thing. Royal Birch is birching bringing 29 years of building experience into the new van. Venture has stocked in shelves with all nuts, bolts, and nails yeah, you would need for any uh, objects, plus the latest tools. So to be seen... Yeah. Uh, okay, next one. There was a strike oh. again. Local ghost Little Joe added again. At the school children are quick to inform, inform you, you Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any se census survey. Sen census Little survey. Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive of local youths, and as such, Possum Spring City Council is considering elect, erect, what, erecting, erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstone that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Oh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghosts and stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Uh, Samuel Carlson has purchased 10 actors, uh, whatever. We're very anxious to be delighted. Uh, Nothing okay. interesting. Hmm, this is interesting, but... they not exactly about a ghost. On the ground, gases afflict many. There has been on the sighting of a bellow 
groundhog from very reliable sources of the time, Edgar Stutter reported that he saw the pure white beast digging near Shade Gap. Mr. Stutter has declined to give any more of an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire his anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. Yeah, that's not really... Um Progress Springs. Mm, uh, try clicking on that. The Stanley T. Possum statue known, known by residents as Posse is finally slated no for ghost demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson's son of Samuel had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad, the miners, and the coke, blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, pie piracy. Dear citizens, please make notes to keep your pies safeguarding to peasant wherever they're experiencing it. and ladies wow. have reported pies from their kitchen disappearing at alarming rates uh -huh. well I'd be stealing pies cause crimes and that even rhymes okay anyway <laughs> we, we did the <laughs> did you click that one I'm going to oh wow this is ghastly or Normally whatever she said awesome. oh my god oh okay Deep Hollow Country. Just click that one. No ghosts here. Yeah, I guess that's it. Ghostly rumors hunt new historical society. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical society? History that won't stay dead in a history place. History place? Yeah! Never been. Never been. You didn't go back in school? I think... This was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watch TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mills, something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. We have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh well, still worth checking out. What does it say? Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's co conversation of the Sergeis house into its new headquarters and education center has hit, hit a snag. I don't know what that means. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. Character see he was fooling, but there was never nobody there said Newsom. Trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Newsom had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other stuff were stop moving the camera when stuff were present in the building but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off limit area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and I and then only go to the office. <sighs> I know the other Loth say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe for the un... and what? Union... Uninitiated un was a local ghost story popular some years ago. Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Mm. That's it. Sound okay. off option line. Okay. Uh, hang on. Go down. Click that one. Just to make sure we um no okay so i think we've got everything we need right no there's one more spectral happenings at possums possum jump hey look at this mm, yeah looks like possum jump let me read it it's possum jump okay yeah that's back up in the state park right yeah ever been up there nope gonna check it out though go nuts Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Okay, so two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height. 
leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Possum Massacre? That's Boogie? Also, is that it? Yeah. Nah, let's look at more stuff. Yeah. Done. We've seen plenty. Three clues, let's go. May Borovsky, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go. Okay, we should probably next stop. time we can go because we're like way over, so yeah. So we've got some leads. <laughs> Bye.